Humans depend heavily on visual cues when looking for a mate, but at close proximity, smells play an important role. Body odors can cause immediate attraction, and normally, women seek out men with body odors indicating that the person is less closely related, with an immune system different from theirs. Odors are indicative of genes in the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. The MHC is a set of cell surface proteins that present foreign molecules, so your adaptive immune system can then fight off pathogens. Parts of the heavy chains of the MHC glycoproteins are present in saliva, urine, and sweat. Producing offspring with someone with different MHC genes is advantageous. The offspring end up with stronger immune systems. However, pregnant women have a flippin' preference. They prefer smells indicating an immune system more similar to their own. This is an adaptation for women to want to care for their babies. Since the pill simulates the hormonal balance present during pregnancy, the same effect occurs. Hence, women on the pill seek out mates whom they would normally not find as attractive. Which brings us to the next point of interest. Women's choice of mate changes over the course of their menstrual cycles. Hormone level changes occurring over the cycle affect women's mood, behavior, and choice of mates. Before we look at these changes, here are the stages of the cycle, as well as hormone levels. The first half of the menstrual cycle is called the follicular phase. During this phase, menstruation occurs, and the ovaries prepare a new egg for release. The release of this egg is termed ovulation, and this occurs roughly halfway through the cycle. After release, an unfertilized egg can only survive about a day, so a woman is most fertile about 5 to 1 days before ovulation. Finally, we have the luteal phase, and the uterus thickens its lining in preparation for a potential pregnancy. In the days before and during ovulation, high levels of estrogen and androgens increase a woman's libido. During the fertile phase of the menstrual cycle, Preferences may lean towards taller, more muscular men with more masculine faces and deeper voices. Some women may also experience more interest in men who are not their primary partner, and some may show more intense mate guarding. Changes in male odor preferences also occur. The scent of androsterone, which is responsible for testosterone levels, is especially attractive to women during their fertile phase. The odor of males who score higher on dominance and who have more symmetrical faces are rated as sexier during this time. Interestingly, during the luteal, aka non-fertile phase, women prefer men, and women, with more feminine faces. They also prefer faces that more strongly resemble their own. Shifts in desired trait preferences or attraction to facial features do not occur throughout the cycle for long-term mates. However, the previously mentioned changes in preference do not occur for women on the pill. The attraction doesn't just go one way. Evidence suggests that olfactory cues can tell men when women are ovulating, and this makes them seem more attractive. During the most fertile phase of the menstrual cycle, men rate female voices as significantly more attractive, and men experience a spike in testosterone levels when they detect the odor of an ovulating woman. Again, this effect is not applicable to women who are on the pill. It's not that their smell is found unattractive, they just don't have a spike in odor attractiveness that would occur otherwise at ovulation. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, it would help me make more videos, and make sure to comment with any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, it would be really nice if you could support me on Patreon. Thank you!